Everybody and welcome to the Gospel Minute from St. Michael's Orthodox Church in Geneva, New York. I'm Steve Toby. Today in the Orthodox Church, we celebrate the Sunday of the Holy Fathers. Some will ask, who are the Holy Fathers and why should we listen to them? Well, the Holy Fathers are the teachers and passers-on of the holy traditions that we follow today. Some of the Holy Fathers learned of Christianity from the apostles themselves and then passed those teachings on to the generations of Christians to follow. Through their writings, we learn how the apostles and early Christians interpreted the Bible and what and how they believed. Before we hear today's gospel, let's pray for understanding with Father Gregory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Illumine our hearts, O Master, who lovest mankind with the pure light of thy divine knowledge. Open the eyes of our mind to the understanding of thy gospel teachings, and plant also in us the fear of thy blessed commandments, that trampling down all carnal desires, we may enter upon a spiritual manner of living, both thinking and doing such things as are well-pleasing unto thee. For thou art the illumination of our souls and bodies, O Christ our God, and unto thee we ascribe glory, together with thy Father who is from everlasting, that all holy good and life-creating spirit, both now and ever to ages of ages. Amen. And now today's Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 5, verses 14 through 19, and is taken from our Savior's Sermon on the Mount. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do people light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a stand, and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have not come to abolish them, but to fulfill them. For truly I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not an iota, not a dot, will pass from the law until all is accomplished. Therefore, whoever relaxes one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same, will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever does them and teaches them will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. The Word of God. Well, have a good day, everybody, and I'll see you again tomorrow. May God bless us all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord.